Yeah. Then um, some Viennese. Uh, actually, we, when we we got there, uh, music loud, and some people like laughing, you know, behind of us. We we thought this is crazy. This is, this is not church. It's is so worldly church. It is not holy. You know, we were kind of shocked and we were frustrated and we our heart troubled. But uh, interesting is, we actually were almost want to leave from this church because we never have seen such a crazy church. Uh, so we almost tried to leave, but it's just a funny thing happened. Uh, you know, God opened my husband's vision, and then my husband's vision opened, and then his neck is literally, like, decaptified, like, cut. And uh, he was trying to looking for the head, where is the head. It's literally a clear vision. And uh, just he, God gave it to me, you know, give it to him a uh, uh, word. You don't have brain your head anymore. Uh, I will give back your head with crown uh, when you get king, you know, heaven. Uh, so we realize, ah, uh, this church is the right church. We are, we are in right church. So we totally open our heart to that crazy church, which is, looks like back then. So uh, we asked some uh, prayer from, you know, uh, minister, and some minister prayed the way you want me to pray. And I want to uh, feel his presence all the time. That's where I answer. I didn't ask healing gift. I didn't ask nothing. Just his presence was so badly I wanted. I never feel like his presence tangibly, like cold and hot and tingling, which is I feel all the time whenever I pray, you know, or minister people, pray people. I never had that. Uh, but when that, you know, that time the minister prayed for me, I, my body shaken, which is, which is really weird, I, like electron. So well, after I come back home, I realized whenever I tried to pray and go to the Lord, my body tingle, my body temperature change. It's something weird thing ha happened, which never happened in my entire Christian life for 30 years. So I knew it something happened, but I didn't know what it exactly is. Then months later, I went to uh, Jesus First Church at, uh, in this town near, near of my town. And the pastor Dini, uh, you know, it also that church is charismatic church, <laughs> which, is, which is similar uh, to Bethel church. I was super hungry. I didn't know what is this. So uh, I asked, you know, him prayed for me, and he he asked me, "What you want me pray?" And I I want a, I want a healing gift. I really wanted. Why? It, it's not about it's not for something something like you know i just wanted that because when i wa was watching the youtube like tom fisher and you know um there are many uh you know minister like me like come on like no more like not being minister like street ministry minister and just like brother sister now like being minister benny hin they just healing people just easily, you know, if healing so easy looks like when I was, it was a shock. I thought it was a fake. Uh, especially Peter Krav, uh he was praying for the, you know, leg growing, and I, I totally thought that was fake. Uh, when I was watching that, my daughter was making fun of me. Oh, Mom, that fake, why are you watching those crazy things? Do you believe that? So, yeah, that's right. I, I cannot believe this. It, it's fake. I totally, I really, really didn't believe the first time. But the more I'm watching this, it's, it's just interesting. I think the face is come from what we hear, what we're watching. It, things begin to change. Uh, 
there are so many ministers doing, not one, two people. Then I just, that may be other, other, why they making this video is, f is fake? It doesn't make any make sense. It seems like they, they not try to uh, glorify your, their name. They just really focus Jesus. They really want to Jesus can. It's not themselves. So I begin to believe that. And the more watching. So I, I really want that. I really want to go out the street and uh, shouting Jesus like, like openly, you know, speaking gospel without any fear. I want that. I sorry a year I've been Christian, but I never spoke about gospel, you know, loudly, openly, you know, it, no boldness. Uh, I I thought this is not right because as though we all Christian have to speak gospel, you know, without any shame, without any uh, uh, shy, and we we need power. We need boldness to speak about. Jesus, you know, because this world is be getting more persecuting Christian and Christian a lot hiding themselves from world. This is not right. Uh, you know, we have to speak without fear. Uh, if they kill us, okay, if this is from God, we we have to be ready. And But, you know, without this power, how can we be like that? We can't speak even any one of the world. I, I thought this is ridiculous. I thought it's not right as the Christian who are saved. So I really wanted that power. Uh, I really was jealousy. People speak about Jesus openly in the street. I really wanted. So I asked the, the uh, you know the pastor Dini. I want to have healing gift. Okay, and then he prayed me. <laughs> then he said, the interesting is, well, you already have, you got it. So no, no, I, tr I prayed some few people, it didn't happen any. He said, no, I will show you, I will prove you have that. And he grabbing me and he let me pray for someone really bad, a blood clot leg. It just looks swollen and like wood it's not skin i was freaking what i can't pray first time my response like that but no you can pray he just strongly really pushed me like encouraged me so the moment okay i'm gonna do this god i'm gonna do this the moment i just 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 determined and be began to pray he she just itchy she just began to jumping like itchy itchy itch, which is like blood clot just opened it was amazing that night, like, it was uh, three years ago. It happened in his church, in Jesus First Church. And um, I was, I was like, totally locked. I, hey, come on, somebody want more uh, other healing. You know, he, she was healed. She was, like, shouting. So I asked, the, please come out. Some people, like, want to heal. And then uh, some back pain problem, you know, came out, and I just, even not really push, just hand like people just fall down, uh, which is I thought weird because I never seen people fall down. I thought that all fake. I didn't like any charismatic movement activity. So anyway, that happened three years ago. Uh, okay, I'll talk in a third stage.